everyone welcome back to our youtube channel um in this video we'll be showing how we can use gradient descent um using matlab so we have a sample function f of x comma y is equal to x square plus y square plus 8 and the objective is to minimize this function as we know that this function the minimum lies in x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so the value of the function will be 8 so we know what the answer is so that the objective of this is to understand how to use gradient descent on MATLAB. So moving on to the next slide. Yeah, so the expression we'll be using is WK is equal to WK minus 1 minus alpha into del F of K. W of K minus 1 is basically the old value of WK. So each iteration, the W of K minus 1 will be the W of K in the previous iteration. And alpha, we'll be choosing alpha for three different values. And del f of k is basically the partial derivative of the values at x at a particular point, and you find the partial derivatives of x and y. Now, moving on to the next slide. Yeah, so the values of alpha that we'll be selecting are 2, 1, and 0 0.1, and We'll, we'll print this in an array and we'll be indexing to these values of alpha. However, we will not go in depth as to how we select these values of alpha, but we will see that, you know, the whole gradient descent is heavily linked with the value of alpha. And the procedure is to first find the partial derivatives of the function f of x, f underscore x, and f underscore y. And then it is to recite the value of alpha and the starting point. And w underscore old in the first iteration is the starting point of the function. And the third one is to put in the value of x and y in w of k, the expression that we have, and then we get the value of w of k, and it'll be stored as w of k underscore new. And then the final one is to perform iterations and repeat this step for the selected number of iterations. So we'll be selecting around 39 plus 1, so totally 40 iterations. And now let's move to the MATLAB code. So we'll be beginning with um, something called sims sims of x comma y sims will basically help matlab understand that these are variables in an equation and that you do not have to put in the values of x and y initially before defining what the function is so for example now we can just directly put f is equal to x square plus y square plus 8 is equal to yeah that's our function as we discussed and now we also have the f underscore x which is a partial derivative at of the function and we use the function diff which finds the partial derivative of the function and then the same thing for y diff of f of x comma y when you're differentiating with respect to y and you can also mention if the double differential or single differential but we'll only be doing single differential for this question for this gradient descent and the alphas are 2 1 and 0 0.1 we'll be storing it as an array and since we will be Finding for these three values of alpha, we need to iterate to this array. So when we iterate to this array, what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a for loop. And we will say for k, okay, for, so let's call this first iteration. I'll have to put a comment. So I'll name it as first iteration. So for k is equal to 1 to 3 and with each increment of 1. And then make sure that you put end as well so that there's no errors and so w of old is equal to 3 comma 4 so that four yeah 3 comma 4 so that 3 comma 4 be our starting point and x is equal to w underscore old 1 so it is 3 and y is equal to w underscore old 2 which is 4 and now we'll find the new value of the new point which is w underscore new and we'll fit in the values w underscore old minus alpha into alpha of k because you're doing three iterations in the first iteration the first value is 2 into so you use a function called subs so it substitutes the values of x and y so we just have to put the equation to be f underscore x 
and f underscore y. Yep, and then the subs of f underscore y as well. Now, once this is done, you must um, suppress these statements so that there is no output that gets printed every time the code runs. And now we'll need another for our loop. So since we've done with the first iteration, we need to do the other 39 iterations. So for i is equal to 1 to 39, um, put end as well. Now, so hold on. So we would like to plot these values so that we get a better idea as to how the descent is happening and from which value to which value it's going. So we created subplots that we can see three plots side by side for the three different values of alpha. So for 2k will be equal to 1. Um, the first plot will hold the descent for the value alpha is equal to 2 and the second one will be for 1 and the third plot will hold the value for alpha is equal to 0 0.1. And then plot new w underscore new 1 and w underscore old 1. So basically these are the x values of the new value and the old value and we'll also need the y values of the new value and old value and this way you can plot a line on MATLAB so you need two points x1 comma x2 and then y1 comma y2 so this will plot the lines so this will be w underscore old Now, once this is done, we'll go ahead and we'll write the second part of the code for the remaining iterations. So we'll also give the x limit and y limit values, so minus 5 to 5, so we can see the whole thing. And then y limit will also be from minus 5 to 5. And then w underscore old is equal to w underscore new. So the new the old value that is in the equation the expression will be equal to the new value of the previous iteration so the old value in the new I in the present iteration is equal to the new value of the previous iteration and x is equal to w underscore old one and y is equal to w underscore old two and w underscore new is equal to w underscore old so it's basically the previous statement i just copy paste it okay so once this is done we would like to hold off as well and suppress these comments these statements so that there's no output being printed and hold off yeah so i think we're good to go now we can run the matlab code We'll save this. Let's save it to one. Now run the MATLAB code. So once it runs, um, you get the three graphs. As you can see, the first graph, it doesn't really go to zero comma zero. It doesn't really end up in zero comma zero because the value of alpha is not optimal and it doesn't give you the right answer. The second value, it 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 moves between minus three comma minus four and then three comma four. So this value of alpha is no good either. But in the third value of alpha is equal to 0 0.1, you can see that the descent is proper and it gradually goes from three comma four, that's the starting point, and it moves every step and it comes to 0 0.0029 comma 0 0.0039, which is very close to zero. So this is how it works and so choosing the value of alpha is imperative and yeah thank you for watching this video mm, i hope this video helps and if you like the video kindly like the click on like click on the like button and subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you soon bye bye